Let's imagine that you have only 20 minutes for customization. For example, you need to go to some event and you don't have anything interesting to wear and the crazy idea comes to your mind to paint some shirt, sweatshirt, like whatever, and wear it and go. So is it possible to create a customization in 20 minutes? Yes, it's possible. It's possible to create very cool and interesting customization and in this video I will show you how. This video is gonna be a real-time video, very slightly edited, so let's paint. And first you need to prepare your canvas to put a cardboard inside to prevent paint from bleeding through. And next step you need to find some simple graphic images, something you would like to see on your clothes. Uh, it can be two or three images or it can be one big image. In my design I decided to put three images and first one I'm transferring directly from the screen. Like if you don't have any time to print uh, this image or to draw it yourself, you can transfer it directly from the screen. And I would recommend you to find images which you will be able to connect in some way. It can be images which tells one story or images in one aesthetic something which you will be able to connect and I will show you of course how to connect them. <laughs> and next step is transferring your image from paper onto clothing using transfer paper which you can find in any stationery store. And to transfer image using transfer paper you need to apply pressure and as you can see I'm using pen. With pen I'm able to apply more pressure and to get more clear and clean lines. So in this video I will give you a perfect recipe of easy and cool customization. Why perfect recipe? Because you can only take just basics from this recipe and then change ingredients. Like you can choose different images, you can place them in different way. You can use all the techniques which I will show you in this video or you can use just one of them. You can add your own techniques. For example, if you have a bit more time, not just 20 minutes, you can dye your t-shirt first, create some interesting tie-dye effect or you can bleed your t-shirt first and then create such customization in this style uh, like uh, the possibilities are endless and like all you need to do is to follow the basics of easy customization and then use your creative imagination And once you transferred your image, uh, you can fix it a bit. If you couldn't transfer some lines, you can draw them with pencil. And next step is coloring. I'm gonna use black color fabric paint, but you can use other colors, of course. You can create like any color scheme you wish. So the name of this easy and fast clothes customization style is chaos. Some people call it graffiti style, some people call it chaos style. I call it chaos because it reminds me of chaos, but creative chaos. And the main rule of uh, this style is kill your inner perfectionist. You couldn't create clean lines, that's okay. You put some stain, that's great. You made a mess on your clothing, that's amazing. <laughs> that is why I love uh, this style so much, because it's perfect for the beginners. It's perfect for people who are afraid to paint on clothes, who are afraid to mess it up, because this style has to be messy. And also this style of customization is proving that for painting on clothes, for creating cool designs on clothes, you don't need to have artistic skills. Like I believe that any person with no skills is able to create such cool customization. And like you don't need to create complicated designs, you don't need to paint complicated artworks. You can uh, paint simple graphic images and then by using uh, customization techniques, I will show you later them you will be able to create very interesting, very cool customization. 
And not only you don't have to be a professional artist or professional clothes customizer to create cool designs on your clothes, but also you don't need you know, expensive equipment, some expensive printing machine or some knowledge how to use programs for designing and putting prints on your clothes. Like all you need to have is art supplies for fabric, some basic clothes for painting and a 20 minutes of your life. And you know, such 20 minutes customization is not just some imaginary situation. I had such experience in my life uh, when I wanted to go to the concert, but I didn't know what to wear. I didn't have anything interesting to wear that day. But I had a basic t-shirt and fabric paints and in 30 minutes I created so interesting and so cool customization and I was just shining that day. And you may ask me, what about fixing fabric paints with an iron, like you need to wait for 24 hours and then fix paints with iron? That is true, but this fact doesn't stop you from wearing clothing the same day you painted it, like even after 30 minutes you painted it, uh, because fabric paints are pretty permanent and even if you don't fix them with an iron, they won't get off easily, like even if you get under the rain, they won't get off. And as you can see, I'm not hurrying, I'm pretty slow and careful, but it took uh, for me just 5 minutes you know, to transfer this rose and paint it on a shirt. So yeah, if you choose some simple graphic images, it won't be a problem for you to paint them on clothing and it won't take a lot of time. And if images which you want to paint on your clothing are simple, you can draw them uh, directly on the clothing with pencil. And here you can see the way I'm killing perfectionism. I'm painting circle, but I don't care that circle has to be straight, that uh, lines have to be thin. I'm just painting it however I want. And next and last image which I want to include in my design are butterflies and again they won't be your perfect butterflies but they will be a bit messy butterflies so I don't even try to create a perfect sketch I'm just kind of sketching them out on a shirt with pencil And for painting butterflies, I'm using fabric outliner or dimensional fabric paint. You can search for them. A lot of brands produce such dimensional fabric paints. And I'm creating embroidery effect. And um, in this style, like the more techniques, the more effects, the better. The more interesting your customization will be.
And I finished with painting images on my shirt, uh, but now they look separate from each other and I need to connect them. So how to connect images? Uh, with lettering, with paint splashes and with lettering like the same rule don't make it perfect don't try to create perfect letters perfect fonts just take some big brush and hand write whatever you want or whatever is meaningful for the images which you chose and in placement also there are no rules you can place your lettering wherever you want you can even place it on top of the images which you painted And writing, just think about chaos, because as I said, name of this style is chaos and for it to look good, it has to be messy. So don't afraid to use big brush, don't afraid of a bad handwriting, because that is exactly what you need. And if you don't know what exactly you can write on your clothing, you can even use lyrics of your favorite song or of any song which is meaningful for this design which you're creating. Or it can be quote from the book, like anything. <laughs> you can write pretty much anything. And here I'm using fabric marker and with fabric marker it's so easy to write. And again, I'm just handwriting. And next technique, which is perfect for uh, this style and perfect for connecting images, it's a paint splashes technique. I'm mixing fabric paints with a small amount of water in a cup and pouring it on my shirt, creating very bold and interesting splashes. Or you can create paint splashes with brush. And spray paint. And as I said, the more techniques, the more effects, the better and the more interesting art supplies for fabrics you have, the more interesting your design is gonna be. And next technique which I want to use, a uh, perfect technique for this style of customization, is an abstract strokes technique. Uh, with palette knife, with brush, I'm creating different strokes, which will make this customization even more interesting. I have a separate video on my channel how to create abstract art on clothes 
and I love to create abstract art on clothes because it looks so interesting and so unique um, and like you don't have even to add lettering in your design you can uh, just play some images and then connect them with an abstract art and it also will look so cool And if you could notice at the beginning of the video, this shirt has some unknown yellow stain and I'm covering it up now. <laughs> And the last step, I'm using hair dryer to dry paints so I can wear this shirt right afterwards. Well, since I have two more minutes <laughs> to wear a shirt and put my makeup on, I want to show you customization which I believe you can create in 20, 30, 40 minutes. Pretty easy customization like anybody can create. Like all the techniques which I showed you in this video were used in these custom designs. So yeah, you can use them as an inspiration. And here is my design which I created in 20 minutes.